Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to bake is a lemon glazed lemon bread. This bread really mimics really a coffee cake. So it's close to a coffee cake, and yet it really truly is a bread, but a great tasting bread. I've made uh, the recipe actually in my bread maker. Uh, you can make it by hand if you prefer, but I want to start off by giving you the recipe, and the recipe also will be below the video. You will need to make the dough one and one third cups of milk, two thirds cup of granulated sugar, three tablespoons of grated lemon peel, four and a half cups of bread flour. You'll need one envelope of rapid rise yeast, which is two and a quarter teaspoons. That equals two. Three eggs and two tablespoons of either dark rum, or if you don't have dark rum, use brandy. You're also going to be using ten tablespoons of unsalted butter to make this. Now once you do, what's nice to do it in your bread maker, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take mine out right now. It will um, mix it. It'll help you. Uh, it, it'll rise it for you. Uh, it's just, to me, so much easier. Um, and I'm going to just take it out right now. And I just dusted my countertop with a little bit of flour. The dough will be a little sticky to the touch, but that's okay. And then just put some flour on top, which I put on the uh, countertop and on top of the uh, dough. And just bring it together almost like a, um, a log or a roll. Now you're going to need, I mean, an extremely heavily greased, uh, at least a 10 uh, cup uh, bud pan. Uh, you could you could use a two pan if you prefer. The bud pan just uh, gives the uh, the mold makes it a prettier bread. But uh, use the uh, uh, tube if you um, you prefer. And then just try to start lifting the uh, dough up. It's an extremely light and delicate dough. And then just lay it right inside your uh, butt pan. Seal the two um, uh, pieces together. I'll show you that in a second. And just kind of punch it down so that it's evenly in your butt pan. And it'll look like this. Now you're going to bake this at 350 degrees. And what you want to do um, is after 15 minutes, put a piece of foil over it because it's going to brown beautifully, but you don't want it to go, get too brown. And then after the 15 minutes, uh, you know, you have your uh, foil, then bake the bread anywhere from another 30 to 40 minutes. But start checking it around 30 because as we know, all ovens uh, do um, set up uh, quite differently. Once you get it in your bunt uh, pan, just as I have, then cover it either with a towel or some plastic wrap and let it double uh, in, uh, in size before you put it in. It will have to rise in this pan. Uh, being I made it in on the dough cycle in my bread maker, it has risen once, but it will need to be risen another time in the bunt pan. And that's going to take you probably about an hour or maybe hour and a half, depending on the temperature in your kitchen. I have one to show you. Now what you'll want to do is once the bread comes out and you put it on a cooling rack, you'll want to make a glaze for it. And what I did was I actually made one and one third cups of powdered sugar and use three tablespoons of uh, fresh lemon juice. And I made um, the glaze for the bread. 
and you can see how beautiful it came out and extremely tall this bread is. Um, I'm going to cut a piece for you to show you what it, uh, what it looks like. This is uh, great with a little bit of butter on it or just, you know, to eat it alone with a cup of coffee at breakfast. And here's the bread. It's going to be extremely light and airy, and yet it has a nice crisp crust to it. It just makes a beautiful bread. No one will really think it's a bread. They're going to think it's more a coffee cake. Give this one a try. I hope you like uh, this recipe. If you do, I'd like to hear from you. Leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.